What's up, guys? It's Stamp. So um, another question I commonly get, um, especially when I'm, I'm fishing in an area, and um, there, there tends to be a lot of people who just got to the area. Like right now, it seems a lot of people are getting to Kuori, and a lot of people are getting to Old Berg. Like there's two different waves. And the, the most common question I get is, okay, where do I go? So I, I wanted to make sure to cover in all these videos is I'm going to cover each lake um, with some spots that I like and, and some places that I use to level. Um, these spots I've tested and have fished in quite a bit, but there is the caveat that my fish aren't going to be the same as yours and fish migrate. This isn't like fishing planet where I can, you cast here for so long at this time and this weather and these conditions, you're going to catch X fish eventually. It's not going to happen. So what I wanted to do is give you some ideas based off of where the map is, um, or I should say where the locations are on the map. Um, some of the depths and, and changes that you see uh, based off fish behavior and give you some locations that have some structure that I think you could fish in fairly consistently to give you some ideas on where to go and what you can catch. So I'll kind of go through Mosquito pretty briefly. So I'm going to give you about four or five places in each of these maps that are going to target uh, species that hopefully you'll be able to catch and level fairly quickly. So primarily the method you're probably going to be using if you see my other videos is, is feeder fishing is probably the fastest to make quick easy money and um, it's probably the least frustrating versus float or spin fishing. Spin fishing on this map isn't nearly as good as if you go to Winding Rivulet. You can troll out and catch some chubs and some mosquito, uh, I'm sorry, some perch, uh, probably some pike and mosquito, but this really isn't a spin fishing map. You can absolutely do it. It just, in my opinion, would take a lot longer. I think this is primarily a bottom and float fishing map. So that being said, we'll start with a few of the places that I like to fish. Um, so in through here, in through these uh, reeds, right off the dock is a pretty good place. Um, and even on this side here, you can catch some fish. Um, that's probably the first one I'd start with. So the coordinates are 66, 57. And I think perch, I mean, you can catch really a variety of species, but I find I catch um, a lot of perch there. Again, that's been my experience. Over here at 5645 is another spot that's commonly utilized. This is especially popular for a lot of feeder fishermen. And it, I think I've caught primarily carps here um, right past the lilies. You don't have to cast out far. That's a common misconception. Really want to identify some of the structure, like you see the sticks there, um, you see the lily pads. So you want to throw in through here, um, right behind the lilies, I think is probably one of the better spots on this lake uh, for catching a consistent amount of fish on bread, worms, um, some of the dough baits, uh, maggots. They all work pretty well in through here, right in through this spot. Um, going around the back side of the lake, um, this may just be my experience, but as you go around the back part of the lake, I think I catch a lot more bugs if you're digging with the shovel, um, if you're digging with uh, the scoop. I catch a lot of bugs and algae back here, and I get a lot of night crawlers from these pools. Now, I know primarily that's RNG based, but it's something I thought I'd mention. Based off my experience, I tend to get more there, and I tend to get some night crawlers around rocks more often than I would. You know, just digging in a patch of grass. That's been my experience. Um, back here, I've been able to catch a few frogs. And I'll be doing a video on frogs soon to kind of tell you guys how you catch those. But back in through here, I've been able to catch quite a few frogs. This spot's been pretty good to me for carp as well. Um, again, near the lily pads or closer to the shore tends to be better for me. Um, I catch more fish here float fishing than I do on a feeder rod. Uh, as we go back around... This is probably the most common spot I hear everyone talk about, which is to the right of the campsite. So, again, this is another really good frog spot, which is right here. You're looking for the stick that comes out of the water. I'll show you. Let me get in a better angle, and I'll zoom in and kind of show you the spot. Um, the stick or branch, log, whatever tree you want to call it, um, I've caught quite a few frogs here, and I don't think you need the frogs to be croaking. It doesn't seem to make a difference for me. Maybe they're just bigger when they croak. I don't know. Um, but this also is a really good spot for carp. Now, the caveat for this is I've had a lot of big common carp from this bank in through here, 
through this spot and through the lilies just absolutely ruin any float fishing I use. So I would never recommend you do float fishing here. And if you're going to do any of the feeder fishing, please be careful with if you're only using a Spark 3000, you probably aren't going to be able to horse any of those common carp that are here. Um, this is a good place that produces uh, jibble and, and, and crucians as well. Um, and some perch back in through this area. Um, near these lilies, I've caught quite a few perch on worms. So that's another spot that I think is pretty good. In through here as well, be careful with common carp. But around this structure, I tend to catch quite a few fish. Um, coming around to this side, and we've pretty much finished the lake. Um, down here near this bank, I tend to do pretty well. Um, right in through here. Again, next float fishing primarily I do pretty good in here. Um, and then feeder fishing I try to throw out um, right beyond those um, broken cattails. cattails and uh, back in through here is pretty good. Um, so those are the spots that I'd recommend guys and I know this is just a quick video but you don't want to hear me ramble on for 10, 15, 20 minutes about the lake. Those are the spots typically people want to know those things so I figured this might help. So hopefully that helps you. If you have any other spots or coordinates you want to mention in the comments below please put them down there um, but those are the ones that work for me. So hopefully it helps. Thanks for watching.